to the 10th episode of Let's Cook. So it's great to reach this um, pretty proud milestone. I know it's doing 10 cooking shows in, in 10 weeks and this is a live um, Facebook cooking show and it is also uploaded to my YouTube channel. So those people on my YouTube channel watching this Please subscribe. Those on my Facebook group, please head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe as well. And today we are getting into the habit of doing two recipes in the one show. But the second recipe is quite easy. It's either like a smoothie or a really quick, easy dessert to make. So yes, we do have double trouble again. Today. I need you to turn on your fire pan. Gas it up, put some oil, because the first thing we're going to do is cook the chicken. It's best to cook the chicken first, about 500 grams. At, or here we've got on the recipe about 150, but if we do about 500 grams, well then that will give us enough for more than one person. Right. Father, you are having a great day. So, We've just put some oil into that. And now that the fry pan's done with the oil, we've got our most important part of the segment. And that is cheese. You drink it a white, a red, a rose, a water, a tea, or a coffee. I salute you and thank you for joining. Mmm, that's really nice. It's a really strong bold red that I normally have. So I've cut up some free range chicken into slices. So we're going to put that straight in the fry pan. Once the fry pan has got some temperature first. We need that so we can really start to cook. But once we've done that, then we'll start to dress up the salad, the lettuce, and avocado, and cucumber, and olives, and tomato, and basil. And then, I'm gonna make a killer of a sauce. Not really a sauce, it's more of a dressing that you're gonna absolutely love to put on top of your salad. So I've called this a cucumber and avocado chicken salad. So that's pretty well getting that now. So let's get out my wooden spoon. There we go. The chicken is in the pan. Dressing for the chicken. So it, it, it's like a marinade. So we're going to marinate it with a mixture of olive oil, mustard, and honey. A tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of mustard, and a tablespoon of honey. Subscribe, like, share, tell your friends about it, tell the world about it. The weight loss thing is all about not taking food away from you, but just adding food which we can eat. It's all about just eating better than you are eating at the moment. And that doesn't mean to take things away from you and eat like a rabbit, but it's all about looking for different foods and ways in which we can enjoy. Okay. Just drizzle. Drizzle. Like so, all the top. But it smells so nice. While the chicken is cooking in the pan, we are going to start to cut up the greens and dress our bowl. Bowl. Well, I've read it there. But I found it. It's not here today, but I found this huge bowl. So we're going to put that bowl inside. And we've got some nice basil. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is the lettuce first. So we've got some iceberg lettuce. And when I cut that one in half, so that's one side, and we want to just slice it. 
or they call it shred it. Now, this one here is quite clean. Already. Okay, so what we want to do is, as you can see, that's a bowl, and we are going to throw it on top. So it's a bed of iceberg lettuce. Then from here, we have all our other ingredients. So what we do is next is we're going to add some cucumber. Just once again, slice this into circles. This is a really nice, fresh salad for some time. It's something we're going to eat in Australia, but any time. So it's great, especially when you mix a bit of protein with it as well. It's quite nice. Okay, let's put that to one corner. Tomato. Everyone has a different way of how to do tomatoes. I normally cut mine in half and then in half again. Again, just cut it in half. And put to one side. And the best way to get the seed out is just with your knife. And pulls out like so. Um, this one's a little bit soft. That's okay. It's all the same. Like so. And that goes to one side as well. We have some basil from the garden. Look at that, looks fantastic. And just put that to one side as a whole leaf. And just clip it. I actually love the smell of basil or any herbs, they just tend to just stay in your finger for onto your hands, the smell just stays there, somehow it just sinks into your skin <laughs> and you can smell it all day long, all night long. Such a beautiful smell. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one to last. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna add the chicken in the middle, nice and gentle. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Okay, so now that we've prepared that, we want to now make the dressing. The dressing is going to be beautiful. So, make life a lot easier. 
I'm just going to put everything into one big container so I can just pour it on. And the dressing we're going to start off with first is half a cup of olive oil. So one half cup of olive oil. So I can measure it here. One half cup. It's a pretty big salad. Enough to feed at least four people here. Okay, half so after you put one half cup, we need three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Three tablespoons. One, two, three. vinegar. Some new brands out there these days. Next we need to add two tablespoons, sorry teaspoons of Dijon, Dijon mustard. So I have to add. Oh that's nice, really nice. So two teaspoons. After the two teaspoons, two teaspoons of honey. Well, I'm just going to squirt it in. There we go. Next is some garlic, which I'm going to crush up. Salt and some pepper. And then we're going to add the lemon at the very end. Pepper. And a pinch of salt. Okay, this will all be available in the description section. Let's give it a nice stir. Dinner is served. He's coming over. <laughs> you can use this, but I just find if I do this, I can get like a good spread of some lettuce first. Cover that. Some tomatoes. Some chicken. Some olives. I'm by myself tonight. And some avocado. And all done. I'll come over and I'll show you how it looks. There we go, cucumber, avocado and chicken salad with a beautiful dressing, basil, tomato, avocado, very proud of that one. We are making a vanilla and coffee protein smoothie, finally, finally I'm able to use my extra, extra, extra large coffee machine 
to make a vanilla and coffee protein smoothie here. Yeah? I'm just going to lay it all out in front of me so it's easier for me to show you what are the ingredients and how many ingredients that we do have. And I do it have in the fridge some espresso cafe. So we've got the ingredients we've got. Oh, I'm going to also grab some ice. Ice, ice, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I don't do singing on my uh, segment, but you gotta have fun. You gotta be relaxed and just go with the flow, enjoy life, make some good food, make some great friends, and just have some fun along the way. Because life is too short and it can turn, as we all know, how it can turn. So, the ingredients that we're gonna do to make this vanilla and coffee protein smoothie ice um, we're gonna add some vanilla protein powder cinnamon almond milk coffee black coffee espresso coffee and flax seeds and the fact about flax seeds is that they are high in fiber omega so let's add the ingredients for our coffee Vanilla and coffee protein. So I want this will really make a difference. We need to add 60 mils of coffee. Yeah, right. I'm talking to an Italian. I want to probably add more than 60 mils, but let's have a look and let's add 60 mils. I probably got here, oops, a bit too much. 400 mils. So I'll probably be bouncing off the walls, but I normally have that for the day. So let's add 60 mils into this smaller one. So 60 mils. Now when it comes to the milk, you can add soy milk, you can add almond milk, you can add water if like, you can add normal milk. So really you can make this to whatever dietary needs that you have or desire or follow or want. So it's very it's versatile. So the almond milk I'm using is unsweetened almond milk by the way. So let's add one and two third cups. So I'm gonna add it into the same one so I don't make a mess. I'm just gonna add the one to this one. Okay. There you go. That's added. Next, let's add the protein powder. So the protein powder, we need two scoops, which is normally a tablespoon, which is 20 mils. Let's add one, two. Okay. And then we need to add two tablespoons of the flax seeds. One. Two and two teaspoons. This one's quite good. Can you say? Of the cinnamon. To one side. Oh, I love cinnamon. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> um, who doesn't? Food is there. It's Joy management, it's celebration, it's fulfillment. We just need to make sure we choose the right foods and the right quantities. Side and some ice. Now, here it is, right in front of me. One, two, and then what we can do is before we put it into the neutral bullet, because that's what I'm using today, just want to make, make sure it's all mixed up. Tight. Goes there, so you can all see it. That is done. Oh, the NutriBot does a great job. That's it. So that's two 
introduce that, our vanilla and coffee protein smoothie. And let's see if I can do it with that spit in. Of course I can. And just a bit of cinnamon on top. I'm going to get a separate glass. some on top. Yum! That is nice. <coughs> so if you don't want to have a summertime with a nice cold healthy protein smoothie coffee, that is it. That it that's it 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 <laughs> told you how coffee make you bounce so there you have it, vanilla and coffee protein smoothie. All the ingredients, the amounts will be listed in the description on the bottom part. And our cucumber, avocado and chicken salad with a beautiful, light, vinegary dressing and some more nuts and then with the basil leaf on top. I really hope that you really are enjoying the Let's Cook episodes. It just gives you some fresh ideas and ways you can incorporate some new foods into your new lifestyle that you have adapted. This is waiting for you. This is saying, yes, yes, I want to lose weight for the very last and final time. And this is what's waiting for you on the other end, these delicious food with so many nice flavors and you can fall in love with these foods. Look, how can I fall in love with these foods? And this one here, you can fall in love with them you want to cuddle them because that is your new lifestyle. The secret to losing weight for the very last time is to fall in love with a lifestyle that you are going to adapt. There's no effort, there's no hatred, there's no willpower required. You just go with the flow because you love how you feel, how you look, and what you're eating and how you're moving. That's what comes to the weight loss industry won't tell you that because they want to go back to them. I don't want that. I want you to, to lose weight for the very last time and to fall in love with you, with yourself, and fall in love with your new lifestyle. I get very passionate because it's real and I want you to lose weight for the very last time. Please subscribe, please like my video, please share it with the world, those people that can benefit from it. But most of all, try these recipes and comment below and let me know and I always respond to everyone. Once again, I'm Thor Astro, known as the Weight Loss King, helping women lose weight for the very last time. And I will see you in my next video. Until next time, lose weight for the very last time. Love you all. Thank you for watching.